Welcome to Design by Geeks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Rissa Roxit Top Hat SVG out of paper. The link to buy this design will be in the video description and it looks great, big or small. Here you can see I have this little teeny tiny one that I've made. And I've seen customers use these as steampunk fascinators, as costume pieces, as doll hats for baby photos, or as a Mad Hatter decoration for an Alice in Wonderland party. This design also looks great with added embellishments. As you see here, I've added some feathers and the assembly is very easy. You're gonna start by cutting out all of your pieces. There's a ring piece that makes the brim. There's a circle piece with tabs. That's gonna be the top of the hat. This curved piece with the wave on the bottom is the crown. And this piece, which is similar to the crown, is the hat band. Now you want your hat colors, which is the color that you see in the gray, to be pretty on both sides because on your brim you will see the front and back of the paper. So we're going to start by assembling the crown of the hat. And you start by applying glue on this side tab here. And then you're going to curve it around to meet the other side. And you want to hold that in place until the glue sets. Next, we're going to work on the top of the hat, which is this circle piece with tabs. And what you want to do is you're going to fold down each of these tabs one by one. After the tabs have been folded down, it will look like this. And now you're going to apply glue on each one of these tabs one by one. After the glue has been applied to each of the tabs, you're going to take your crown piece and the crown, this wavy part is the bottom, this flat part is the top, so you're going to put the top of your hat on the top of your crown, and then you're going to go and press each tab to the inside one by one until the glue holds, going all the way around the circle. Each of our tabs are glued down so the crown of the hat is complete. You'll notice there's a seam from when you glued it. That's going to be the back of your hat. Next we're going to assemble the brim piece and you start by applying glue on each one of these tabs. After you have applied your glue, you're going to take your crown piece and you're going to put the rim underneath and you're going to fold up each tab one by one. And you want to make sure that you're following that bottom curved edge of the crown as you are affixing those tabs. Once your glue is dry, then you can then add your brim piece. So the brim piece has a similar curve to the crown piece. So when you're putting that on, you want to make sure that you are following that same curve. And when you put that on, you want to make sure that the back seam of the brim piece is in the same place as the back seam of the hat so that all the back seams are in the back and that the fronts are all pretty. So I usually start by putting that on without any glue, just to make sure that I have it in the right position. And now that that's all lined up and in the right place, I can then put some glue here at the end and hold it in place until the glue holds. Now 
and how long it takes for the glue to hold for any of your hat pieces really depends on the material type that you're using and the type of glue that you're using. Some papers it takes longer for the glue to take hold, some glues take longer to dry or less time. After the glue is dried, this is what your hat is going to look like. There's the back, there's the front. The very last step is to take your brim at the left and right and curve it upwards, like so. And you know what the left and right is because the back side will have the seam. And you're just going to hold your paper there until it accepts the curve. And this depends again on your paper, how easily it accepts the curve. It might take a few seconds, it might take a few minutes. I held the sides for about a minute and as you can see now the left and right are curved. So your hat is now done. If you wanted you could add some additional embellishments. If you wanted to wear the hat you could add it to a hair clip or to a headband. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.